This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Yeah, I got him. Huh? Wait, what? Why is that witch's silver sword stronger than my silver sword? It's a grand master feline sword. What the fuck? Carol uh, Morin armor is stronger than what I got? No, it's the effects that I need, actually. But why do I still have this? Ami. That's fucking weird, actually. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm a little irate. Because of that shit. And it sucks because the it came from a fucking female, man. I don't want to be that type of guy to be like, oh, female, do this. Because I don't think it was really her, her. It was a fucking bot or whatever. But they used a female to try and trick me. Somebody I knew. Pissed as hell. Burning the harvest. Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Fuck now. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face card. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Geert, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Uh. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? I'm a little of bit pissed not. about that. Thing Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman <laughs> of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No. And I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's no, play. Thanks. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. 
I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Gunter Odin. We all know who this man is. <laughs> Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like yep. everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Not in the mood. Don't generally drink with strangers. Come, I know this to be a vile place. You might down a little glass merely to aid digestion. Can we cut to the chase? Have you seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh, shit. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I oh, this never fucking yeah, right? <laughs> Who might you be? Yeah, right? <laughs> now we know better. <laughs> what do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone yeah. to Rodin at your <laughs> service. Vagrant? Is that a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. The man of glass. Now we know different. Now we know what's going on with this guy. <laughs> it's crazy that we see him just one time and never see him Master again for the whole Dandelion's game. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of <laughs> Lycan. You know who I am? Recognize me from Facts, the Yeah, right. <laughs> we know up. this guy. <laughs> they, 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 this is a really good foreshadowing for this game. Really good foreshadowing. Holy you shit. Jennifer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask Is this about love? None of your business. None of your business? Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Say no, you're right. <laughs> Get to the That's point. That's how the damn An ilf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a like, exchange fuck this with guy, the bro. Like, I see this guy, I'll get pissed off. Right I, get, I just think about what we did, I'm what we had to go through. It. I Ask just think about guys. what we had to go through, Deviant. <laughs> Thanks. We men of the road must stick But this time, I'm not going to help Old Old uh, This time, I'm going to let him, uh, I'm going to let him, uh, I'm going to let him, uh, die. Oh, this is different. Ask the Guardians about Yennefer. This is way different. I didn't do this last time. And then last time, I think I got into a fight. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, gotta go a different way. Yeah. <laughs> Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want. So your I'm idea. thinking about doing so, uh, so stream of, so a little stream of this. Back off. Oh, almost like. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. So I want to do a little bit of this, Coastal. and I actually want to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh. You've uh, you done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Oh! 
Ah, shit. <laughs> Pick your boys up. Pick your boys up. So, but yeah, I think this is different. I don't remember asking the talking to the Guardians about uh, Yennefer. Sorry. Yeah, I want to go back to I want to go back to you because I ain't gonna lie, uh, you know was kind of fun. <laughs> so I might uh, pull horses, guys. Started. I know, right? I was just thinking that. I was like, damn. But yeah, I'm probably gonna play some of uh, the Witcher and then uh, switch the game, switch my games to Yu-Gi-Oh. Cause yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I fucking uh, love that game. Like I, I love the I love the game. Anyway, the real the real card game, or whatever. But playing that game, Master Duel, that shit is fucking dope. If you know if you know how to play the game, like that's the real real life game online <laughs> pretty much so if you know how to play the game i play the game i've been playing the game for like off and on for 20 years so uh so literally that's literally the game right there the actual card game I haven't, and i haven't been able to you know what i'm saying really play it like that in real life because of life and shit but now I get a chance to really go back and play Yu-Gi-Oh like I really wanted to and learn the XC shit so like maybe in real, in real life I can probably cre uh, create like those type of decks and shit. Come on. I don't, yeah, I don't remember talking to them Guardians last time. Let's see how strong these guys are. 57, huh? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Back to my other save and get the rest of the army. What? Lost your nerve? I was just never into Yu Gi Oh at all, but I get the appeal. It's not my thing. Now I feel you on that. It's definitely an acquired, acquired thing. Like, I got into it because of the anime. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Cause I want to say I went and never got to card games because I collect the Pokemon. But, um, what was I trying to say? I collected Pokemon, but I never, I only collected it. I never played it. I never played with them. I never played tournaments or whatever. And then I'm mad as hell because my mom threw my Pokemon cards away. And, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pissed about that because I had rare ass cards. I had money. <laughs> that was, I had money in there. Anyway, that's a whole different story. Anyway, um, <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because of the anime, and then I actually played the card game. I used to play the card. I used to go to tournaments when I was a kid. So I used to go to tournaments, and uh, I never really won tournaments. But I was pretty good. Like I wasn't bad. <laughs> I used to like. I used to at least. I used to at least get to the semifinals and lose there, but. It was fun though. It was a lot of fun. And then I went to turn. Well, I didn't go to tournament, but the last time I actually played physically was like I think four years ago when I was in LA. I think that was the last time because I found a I found a spot out there and I decided to go out there and check it out. I didn't enter the tournament because I still wasn't like I don't know how to play the new. I just, I don't I still don't know how to play the new school. Know how to play a new school? Like I'm I'm old school as fuck. So I gotta learn. That's why I like this game because this game. Oh shit! What the fuck? Uh, the, this master duel has the new school shit. Wow! 
Like, you saw how I lost last time. I lost, like... Damn, I wasn't paying attention. But, yeah, I used to uh, play that shit when I was a kid. <clears throat> then when I, uh, I really, I really stopped because they kept adding all this new, the new summons and shit. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! The original was kind of like, it was, it was fun to play because you could do different combos and shit. But later on down the years, it, it got kind of damn. <clears throat> it got kind of, it got a little bit more complicated. Like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't really simple, but it was like, it wasn't hard. I built a retest on, on Sims. I'm probably going to put it for download when I finish. Oh, nice, nice. What the fuck is? Yeah, it wasn't really that hard, but uh, it was kind of like. It can be re rewarding if you're really like a. Oops, excuse me, man. Excuse me. It can be. It can be rewarding if uh, if you are uh, a skilled player in Yu-Gi-Oh. But now it's like you get summon like like you see what happened in the, when I play. Like this dude summoned four monsters and they ended up getting eight thousand attack points. I've never in my Yu-Gi-Oh play life ever dueled a monster with eight thousand attack points. Ever like when I was a kid when it <clears throat> when it first came out, the strongest the strongest a monster can get a uh, strongest a monster ever got was like five thousand. That was like the strongest. But this motherfucker one shot at me in one turn, turned the whole tables around in one turn, and I I mean it, take, it usually does take one turn, but that usually hey, I yeah. never I've never experienced that. That shit is crazy. So all these new rules and shit. Oh shit, something going on here. Magic. A place of power. Shit, a raid. Oh, buddy. Come on, come closer. Fun game. You guys a real fun game. A real, a real, a real good strategy game too. It's very. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But I, I love, I love you guys. Such a, such a great game. <coughs> Where is it? I can talk about you guys all day. <laughs> I still got my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. All, all the. Where is it? Time to end this. I've been hearing a lot about that show. I have actually not seen the Ozark because uh, <clears throat> I thought it looked like a <laughs> I thought it looked like a fake uh, Breaking Bad. I was I was kind of hating. I was kind of hating. I can't even front. I was kind of low key hating. So it kind of because it kind of reminded me of Breaking Bad. So I never got into it. And then um, 
but I've been hearing people talk about season four. So I think it's supposed to be the last season, right? And I was thinking about uh, I was thinking about getting get into the show. They're doing two parts in a second. Oh, I hate when they do that two part bullshit. I'm like, like, just give it a full season. Or make it season four and then season five. Damn. Stop doing that bullshit. <laughs> You gotta watch Come on, Roach. Yeah, I'm thinking about watching it. Like, like, you're not the first person to bring up Ozarks to me, so. Since, now, since you said that, like, you you, you, put, you put me on to a pretty good show, so I'm about to, uh, since you Come brought on. it up, like, I haven't watched the other show you told me about, but since you brought it up, uh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be on the list. It's way too realistic. You know, Let's go. Organized. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. And I heard it gets crazy. Oh man, look at this dude. We have much work to do. Oh, I gotta put this on YouTube. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Oh. Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, yeah, past the gate. You can be nice. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. 